everyone, this is Sean, 007 1986. I hope you had a fantastic Thursday. Yes, this is the second video, second video and three videos I'm doing. And this one is about the affirmative action in colleges and universities. Before I start this off, the only thing I can say was, damn, first Roe v. Wade, now this? I mean, goddamn. So it looks like things are really looking up. I mean, let's be real. I mean, I'm not too surprised on that one. But as little, but you know, I'm not even. I'm not even losing sleep over this. I mean, I should because I'm black. But I'm not. <laughs> all right, all right. Enough, enough with the talks. Talks of creed cracking jokes. Although I wish I, I wish I. I'm reading this one. Okay, so yes. In a six... Yeah. Affirmative action has been... Has been re rejected or shot down in universities and colleges. You know, if you wonder what that was, it's about... <laughs> Um, you know, universities and colleges using race as administration decisions. And in most unnecessary cases, it favors more on blacks while punishing white people and Asians. And, well, there was a lawsuit that happened on Harvard. And now with this over, let's just say there's going to be a lot of lawsuits from uh, both Asians and white people over these these universities. Me, I don't have to worry about that shit, because I never went to college. Never will. I mean, come on, man. Four more years of fucking school after I, after I bust up, after I left high school? Got me fucked up on that one. But I'm reading this right now. <clears throat> Supreme Court rejects affirmative action in ruling on universities using race in administration decisions. In a 6-3 affirmative action opinion, Supreme Court decided using race as a factor in college admissions violates the Constitution's 14th Amendment. Which it does. The U.S. Supreme Court handed down a major ruling on affirmative action today. They said Thursday, but I said today. Rejecting the use of race as a factor in college administrations as a violation of the 14th Amendment Equal Protection Clause. In a 6-3 decision, Chief Justice Rob John Roberts wrote in a majority opinion that a benefit, a benefit to a student who overcame racial discrimination, for example, must be tied to that student's courage and determination. Or a benefit of a student whose heritage or culture motivate him or her to assume a leadership role and attain a particular goal must be tied to that student's unique ability to contribute to university. In other words, the student must be treated based on his or her experiences as an individual, not, in, not on the basis of race, the opinion says. Tr well, if you want my translation to it, here's my translation. Translation you have to be people want you based on your merit and your work not because of your fucking skate cutter pal many universities have for too long done just the opposite i mean yeah yeah in doing so they have concluded wrongfully I mean, wrongly that the touchstone of an individual's identity is not challenges bested skills built or lessons taught but the color of their skin our constitutional history does not tolerate that choice, the opinion states. And I agree. Your ch your identity has to be about challenges being bested, your skills built, and the lesson learned. Use it only your... Just, make, just focusing your identity based on your fucking skin color is so dumb and, dare I say, kind of stupid. I mean, heck, I built my... I mean, heck, my individual... My individual... My identity is based on my skills, my skills, my problem solving, I crack jokes, I do voice, I do, you know, random voice acting, I even make, make videos for YouTube, like what I'm doing right now, for you guys, and I care about that. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna use my skin color as a fucking crutch, and besides, if you think about it, I'm going off a tangent here, if you kind of think about it, look at me, I'm a fucking di I'm a, I've been working at a pizza place for one fucking year. I'll be, it'll be year two working at the at my dishwashing job on October 4th. 
Yeah. I didn't get the job because of my skate gutter. I got it because I want to work. Look right at me now, man. Look at me the fuck now. Your boy put in that work. It may be a thankless job, but hey, someone's got to do it. Justice Roberts was joined by Justices Claire Thomas, Samuel Aletta, Neil Gorsuch, Brett Kavanaugh, and, and Amy Coy Barrett. ACB! With the fat ass. Yeah, she's the one with the fat ass. Ain't gonna hate on that, though. Justice Sonia Sotomayor wrote the main wrote the main dissent, joined by Justice Elena Kagan, Kagan or whatever the hell her name is, and a part of Justice Kent, Contingency Brown Jackson, who mind who mind you is obviously not not picked because you know Joe Biden wants to push, prove that he cares about diversity. Have Paris the fucking fuck. Who also recu recuses herself for the Harvard case due to. Her, Due to her previous role on Harvard's Board of Overseers. Gee, I wonder why. The justices decided two separate legal challenges over just how Harvard University, a private institution, and the justice and the University of North Carolina, a public one, decide who fills their classrooms. These private schools said their standards have a larger societal goal, one endorsed for decades by the court. To promote a robust, intellectually diverse campus for future leaders, but a coalition of Asian American students said the criteria, the criteria, discriminated with a racial penalty, holding them to a selective higher standard than many Black and Hispanic students, which I, which I feel, is racist. Yeah, I mean, shit. Okay, so Asians are are pretty smart, and well. They are not gonna, not gonna hate on them. I mean, never will. But hey, more power to them. But the fact that they're doing that to punish Asian Americans to try to try to you know get more blacks and Hispanics in to fill this whole this to fill this whole um, <clears throat> diversity bullshit is so it's so fucked up on so many levels. The Harvest Activist Group, Students for Fair Administration, brought cases to both North Carolina against both North Carolina, the University of North Carolina, and Harvard. The group initially sued Harvard College in 2014 for violating Title VI of the Civil Rights Act, which prohibits discrimination based on the based on the uh, on the basis of race, color, and national origin in any program or activity that receives federal funds or other federal financial assistance. The complaint against Harvard alleged that the school's practices penalize Asian American students and that they fail to employ race-neutral practices. North, the North Carolina case raised the issue of whether the university could reject the use of non-race-based practices without showing that they would bring down the school's academic quality or negatively impact the benefits gained from campus diversity. The U.S. Court of Appeals for the First Circuit had ruled in Harvard's favor, upholding the outcome of the district court's bench trial. The, dis the district court said that the evidence against Harvard was inconclusive and that, and that the obser observed discrimination affected only a small pool of Asian American citizens. It ruled that SFFA did not have standing in the case. In the UNC case, the federal court is... The federal district court ruled in the school's favor, saying that it's a misses practices with strict scrutiny. Roberts said in his majority in his majority opinion that both administrations pro, both administrations programs at Harvard and UNC lack sufficient focus and measurable objectives warranting the use of race unavoidably employed race in a negative manner, involving involve racial stereotyping and meet, and lack meaningful endpoints. We we have never permitted a missus. And uh, oh, I guess uh, that. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I guess that's it. I totally guess that's it. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure that this is not, that I feel like it's kind of really messed up. And as me, who is black, I just want to put that out there. I got no 
no fucking problem with 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 uh, affirmative action being bump, being kicked out of schools, out of colleges and administrations. Cause now it's like you want to if you're black and you're trying to get into one of those schools, you're gonna have to really work for it. Use your skin color ain't gonna work anymore. You really have to put in the work. It means you gotta put your heads in the books. You gotta do. You have to uh, solve many of the SATs or the SOL. Or the SOL schools we placed in the school. Or as we like to call them, or back in my day, we used to call the SOLs, the SOL, the shit out of luck, shit out of luck test. Because trust me, you'll be shit out of luck with those things. Yeah, but the funny, th but you wonder what the funny thing about it is? The funny thing about it is, everyone, there was so much goddamn coke. Up in this bitch, I'd be lying if I said it. I didn't enjoy it. <laughs> Cause trust and believe me, a lot of people were losing their fucking marbles over this. You probably want to know who, who I'm talking about. Oh, ooh, uh, let's see. Um, well, there's Senate Majority Leader Chuck Sumer who was pissed about it. He actually wrote out a fucking statement about this one. The NAACP lashes, lashes out on the decision, calling the Supreme Court hate-inspired, because of course they would. I mean, uh, I mean, oh, let's be real. Since when does the NAACP give a fuck about, about actual black people? Same with the goddamn uh, cul Congressional Black Caucus, which, by the way, they're, all they're doing right now, they're trying to push for um, blacks, push push um, the Dem Joe Biden and the Democrats to help the black immigrants while not helping us. Yeah, not helping black Americans who's been to this who's been in this country for, who's been in this country for long longer longer since the day they were born but want to help motherfucker but I want to help black immigrants who want to cro cross over here illegally. Yeah, there's that too. Oh, speaking of Joe Biden, he actually came out and said, "I am very uh, I'm I'm very very disappointed. I am very disappointed. I, I bet you are. I bet you are. Yep. Biden rips the Supreme Court decision. Of course he did. Of course he fucking did. Of course he did. Oh, and also the media meltdown. Oh, God. Every every media outlet is losing their fucking mind. MSNBC, CNN. It's beautiful. And on Twitter... <laughs> Man, there was so much goddamn salt that I all and then if I would look at it and look at it and enjoy it, enjoy it and laugh, I would OD real fucking quick. But yeah, I feel like this is I could help but to laugh. I could help but to laugh. Me, I don't have to worry about college because I've never been to college. I'm just happy with what the job I got. It may be tough. It may be. It may be long. It may be giving me a headache. But at the same time, I wouldn't. At least I'm working. At least I'm not letting the. At least I'm not asking the government to take care of me. Unlike other motherfuckers who like to use the government to be their new daddy or their parents or whatnot. <laughs> oh man. I mean, I could help but the, laugh at this. The salt was so goddamn beautiful. Yeah, I really hate to see it. I mean. If you're, if you, I mean, if you really hate to see it, if you, if you're on the side of, oh, why I care about the government, but motherfuckers like me who don't give a fuck about the government, <laughs> oh man, oh man, what a time to be alive. So, so let's see, Roe v. Wade's dead, and now affirmative action in colleges and universities. Oh my God, if we can, now the next, now if we. Now, if it starts raining money, then that's a good sign. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I'm that kind of person. But, <clears throat> but <clears throat> the point is, <clears throat> I'm just glad this is over because I feel like now it's going to be based on merit instead of race. So, we'll see how this one is going to play plan out. And I won't be too surprised there's going to be some hate comments in this on this one. I <clears> mean... <throat> I'm already expecting it as we speak. But I would like to know what y'all think of this. As always, be sure to leave a comment, like this video, subscribe to this channel, kick the notification bell so you don't miss an update, share for friends, share for your neighbors, share your civic others, and that's about it.
Until next time, this is Sean, 007, 1986. I don't know. Thank you for watching this video. Oh, and uh, before I sign off, um, there was a Rasputin, Rasputin uh, poll that just came out that says nearly half of Americans don't believe that Joe Biden acquired 81 million votes. So, um, yeah, take it, take it how you will. Bye!